So we got our little excavator out for the season. And this is a little high top 20 that we got uh, brand new directly from China. So um, it's great. It's awesome so far. We haven't used it a whole lot to really develop any kind of proper review on it, but it has a hard time starting and it always has. So we're trying to troubleshoot why that is. It seems like the first thing is that the glow plug doesn't ever stop flashing. The light always is flashing and it doesn't ever go to a solid um, state, which it should. It should give you an indication of when the glow, like when the engine is warmed up. So anyway, Steve is the expert on diesel engines. And so he is trying to walk me through troubleshooting this because this is technically my excavator and he wants me to learn how to do the maintenance on it. So he's teaching me and I thought it might be helpful for anyone else who might have some things to learn about diesels. So, so in diesels, so no, I know, but so in diesels, what are the three things that it could be? If something is going wrong, it's either heat, water, no heat, fuel, and, and air. air. So if you have all three of those things, he says, a diesel engine should start. So we've looked at the air filter and the air filter looks good. We've got a new air filter in the... I know, but it's just, this, but, but we don't it's just need so to change strange. this. I mean, it's brand new. Yeah, we don't need to change this. We don't need to change the air filter like the fuel filter and the oil filter. It's unlikely there's something stuck in the way. There's air. But we're just looking at the fuel thing now. We're going to just start taking it apart piece by piece. And um, we'll let you know what we find, I guess. Here is a, we're going to change the fuel filter on it regardless. Just because it came with some fuel in it. And perhaps the fuel that it came with maybe wasn't that great, or maybe we put some of a, a bit of bad fuel in it. We're not really sure. So we're just gonna look at all of the different aspects. So taking off the water fuel separator. I think it's fuel. There's a little screen in there. So it looks, looks like fuel. So let's may as well change the fuel filter. So it's got a Kubota engine in it. What is the horse, 20 horsepower? Yeah. Is it a three cylinder or four cylinder? Three, it looks like. A three cylinder Kubota diesel engine made in Japan. So it's got a good engine in it. Let me just take that fuel filter off. It does eventually start. It just takes a really long time and it puffs and puffs. And it's worse when it's cold, but yeah, the glow plug thing won't tell us that it's done. Here it says you shouldn't leave it on for more than 20 seconds and minus five Celsius temperatures. I don't know if the strap I have is any too. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. It's so small, everything is so small and compact. Well, I'll try. Yeah, keep this real clean, you know. Is the package oh. still on there? Well, I just took it off. Oh yeah, you don't want to take it off yet. Oh. This has to be so clean. Okay. Put it in your truck. There's a lesson right there. Don't take the cover off the fuel filter until you're ready to use it. There. Okay. Just. Okay. It looks clean. Okay, okay put some fuel. Okay, put it back on. Up in the up there? Yeah. That's just lead, so you gotta get the air out. So I'll show you how to go. Loosen this. Oh, it is loose. Okay. Turn the thing on. It's filling up. Got the bubbles come out. I wanna see a good flow of fuel. So I guess the next thing to check is the fuel injectors. 
Maybe those are clogged a little bit. The fuel going there. You, you see it? I saw it. Squared up. That's yeah. injecting into the cylinder. So it's pretty rare that something wrong with this. This is a pretty new machine, but I just wanted to check. Yeah, the, the injector should be okay. How do you know so much about diesels? Because I'm smart. <laughs> no, because why? Because you... Mechanical engineer. And a marine engineer. Yeah. Okay, I'll go get a voltmeter. Cute. He's so shy. So Steve is a mechanical engineer, but he's also was a marine engineer and spent time on steam turbines in the Navy. He knows a lot about diesel engines. <laughs> he's taken lots of courses course because he had a sailboat before and did all the maintenance on his sailboat diesel engine for all the years the 20 something years he had a sailboat so one other thing it could be well, it's not enough heat going to the glow plugs I mean voltage so oh. if the voltage is low on the battery then that could be uh, now I guess we there's fuel going in because we uh, loosened the injectors and there's fuel coming out so the fuel is fine the air and it's fine. brand new, so, so it should. It's got to be the heat. It's got to be the heat. The glow plugs. So there's the battery down there, and it's quite big, and it looks like the only way we can take the battery out is to take this panel off. So we have to go and get a socket size that matches this, which we don't have. We'll have to go buy one. is going to weigh a lot. How, what's holding it up though? Jeez, it's like heavy. So brand new battery and it still doesn't want to start. So we have this battery from our camper and we're going to see if Steve had already started it with that battery before and he said it started right away so we're just going to try again and see if that makes any difference checking the oil it's good we should change it though the only other thing that steve can think of right now is to change the oil and maybe the oil is too thick we know it's dirty we were going to change it anyway but that might be the reason why, because why? It's if it's too thick, it can't push the piston up or something like that if the oil is thick. So we're gonna drain the oil. Ideally, I guess it should be drained while the oil is warm, but we can't get it started. So we're gonna just drain it as is. Okay, so we drained the oil and put the plug back in and we're gonna try to change the oil filter, but it's, Looks like we have to take the battery out again <laughs> to get the filter off. I'll take these Such bolts, a tight space. all these bolts off. Yeah. Put some oil on, but I always put some oil on. I know, oil on I know that. still have to take it off anyway. Alrighty. Ready? Yeah. Good? Yeah. It seems worse. Okay, next is trying to get the glow plugs out to check the glow plugs. One, two, three glow plugs. <laughs> Good. So the glow plugs work. 
So as Steve said, in all of the years he's ever worked on diesels, he's never had to take a glow plug out before. Because <laughs> they've always worked. Never been an issue, so. We thought we would take them all out, clean them, and then see if it starts. Oh yeah, that one's dirtier. Yeah. Enough time. Okay, so I mean, we, as you can see, have exhausted all of our options. We've looked at all possible angles. It keeps coming back to the glow plugs, to the heat. Battery's good, glow plugs are good, but, but, is there actually 12 volts going to the glow plugs? That is what we've got to find out. Okay, turn it on. Nothing. Okay, stop. There's no... What the fuck? I know, I know what you're thinking. Where are the bubbles in my bath? So when we had looked at the manual that came with the machine, it told us to turn the glow plug, I guess, one way, and the lights should illuminate for the glow plugs to activate, but nothing ever happened. So the way that we were turning the key, the glow plug light would come on, and that's how we thought we were heating it up. So now we know, kind of our fault. We weren't doing it right, but the machine wasn't set up right. The machine doesn't tell us the glow plugs are activated, so now we know. Now we know we just have to turn the key, one extra turn, no lights come on, nothing tells us that it's getting warm, but it is. She starts right away. Who would have thunk? Be seeing you guys next time. I'm on the old cliff.